Hello and welcome to Pete's Shed. Today I'm going to try and make a magnetic wheel. Okay, so what the heck am I talking about? Well, a friend and I were in conversation the other day and we saw a video on YouTube whereby a gentleman had two magnets. I'll just move these out of the way. One was stationary and one was on a disc. And the stationary magnet appeared to push the magnet that was on the disc and continually rotate the disc around and around. Now, if you know anything about physics, you'll know that that is virtually impossible to do. However, a challenge arose, and that challenge was A, can I get a magnet on a disc to rotate? And B, if I can, how long can I do it for? So that's the challenge, and that's what this video is about. Okay, so this is the basic idea then. We're going to make a disc, and even though there's lots of magnets shown on here, I'm, I'm going to use one to satisfy the challenge, and I, I'm fairly sure that that won't really achieve much. So ultimately, I am going to add on more magnets and see if we can get this to the, this larger magnet to push these around and see how long we can get this disc moving for, if at all. Okay, so without further ado, we'll bring some tools in and we'll get this show on the road. Okay, so part one of the challenge has been completed. I'm going to say challenge, I use that term loosely. It was more just a discussion to see if this would actually work or not. So what I've done is I've put a bearing in the middle of this plate and obviously I've got this magnet on, a, on its own little upstand here. And this is either a north or a south pole and this is either a north or a south pole. Whatever they are, they're opposing. So when I let go of that, we get this movement 
due to the opposing poles. Now, the difficulty that I can see straight away is trying to get the magnet past past this stopping point. It's almost like an invisible buffer to get it to the point that it's going to go and push again like that. In all honesty, I don't think it's probably going to work and if I do put any more magnets on it, it's probably just going to stop in between the two and shake like it's doing there. So part A of the build is how far can I get this round and that is one full turn as it happens. There's a, there's a lot of momentum in it so I, I can understand why uh, it, people think that this is able to continue going but the magnetic fields just lock together at this point and there's just no way that's going to go past any further than that even if we had more magnets all the way around. However, I'm not going to let that stop stop me there. I'm going to add the extra magnets like we put on the diagram and we're going to see how far and if at all this will move. Okay, so round two then. What I've done is I've added two more magnets and we've got this effect. which is very similar to how it was in the first place and once we get to the first magnet it just wants to really push on that magnet and try and send it round but you can see that it's just not going to get all the way around. It is so tempting to think that this would work because once you get that repelling force here it really throws it round and it, it makes you think that it's something that's achievable. I've had a little look at the magnetic fields through this magnetic field viewer and they're, they're all over the place but when you get to this point here the, the, the magnetic fields just sort of lock into each other and there's just no way unless that was a directed beam of magnetic energy you're just not going to get this to travel all the way around under its own steam. Now it looks like I'm getting it to go around two or three turns there but in reality all that's happening is I'm throwing this disc around and I'm putting energy into the disc moving so all you're getting back out is that energy that you've put in and that's why the disc is just spinning round. The magnet does help to some extent because you get this first part for free. You get about three quarters of the disc movement for free just from the repulsion from the magnet but that's about it it's not going to go any further than that. Okay so the next stage is to just add a couple more magnets on and finish the challenge or finish the experiment so let's have a look at that. Okay so here we are then with the rest of the magnets on the disc and I'd just like to say you will never know how difficult it was to place the last magnet on that disc with all the, with all the other magnets around it uh, yeah, I should have videoed that actually. It was very, very difficult. It was quite funny as well. Now, I'm pleasantly surprised actually because whereas it was just binding before in the magnetic fields, I, I, to my surprise, when I first spun this, with very little energy, this thing carried on going. So... I realise it's not it's not magnificent and that there's not a lot going on but it really it really outweighed it feels like it outweighs the amount of energy that I'm putting in to actually keep that going. So I'm pleasantly surprised with that. But what I'd like to do is just put a mark on the on the disc and try and see how many times it goes round because part A of the challenge was to see if I can get a magnet on the disc and get it to uh, actually travel round. Part B was to see how many times we could get that to travel round. So I'm going to put as, as small amount of energy in as I can to get this started. And I would say that's that's four turns, that's easily four turns. Now. I don't know if, if I'm actually creating the, the energy that it requires to make that excess turn in motion 
but it certainly feels as though the magnet is actually doing the work. Let's give it a, a harder spin round and see, see how long that goes round for now. And I can make some adjustments to the magnets. I can bring that closer and or twist it round a little bit more and I can tweak it and play around with it and see if I can actually get this to stay spinning a little bit longer. But ultimately though, it's always going to come to a rest. There's just never going to be enough force to overcome this part of the of the magnetic field. It's, it's almost like friction. It's always going to slow down. So I've really enjoyed doing this. Um, it's been a nice little challenge. So if you've got any more suggestions for challenges and building things, please let me know because I'm really interested in doing that. So before I go, you can see that I've been modifying this and adding more magnets and just playing around with it. I've been turning this in and out. I've even used the the ring magnet to see if that has any further effect on what's going on. But uh, all to the same end really, it, it comes to a stop. Which isn't a great surprise, but I really enjoyed doing this. And um, if you've liked the video, then give me a thumbs up, leave a comment if you like, and I'll see you in the next video.